how is my tummy looking like? Three weeks postpartum. I cannot believe I have lost this much already and the tissues almost already like all that extra big belly thing is gone already. It's gone. It's gone. Postpartum check like how am I healing and mainly just how is my body at the moment and this is three weeks postpartum. I have to go check my alarm for a moment. That was my pumping alarm. I had to go pump in. We are back. This is uh, four weeks postpartum and, and I just wanted to come here and check, like share with my journey postpartum body, how is everything going, the healing and the weight loss and how does the shape of the belly look like at the moment and if you've been if you're new here i just got my baby about three weeks no four weeks ago exactly and i have had a c-section for the delivery of my beautiful daughter and yeah let's get into it i have to say it is really magical like how the transformation that the female that a female body or a woman body go through like during pregnancy and immediately after giving birth i have to say it i was surprised really how fast how fast the body actually especially the abdomen area shrinks back after giving birth i've had a cesarean section and i would say immediately after the cesarean section let me say 15 minutes after when i checked how my tummy was was like really really flat like very flat and soft like really jelly like I wasn't sure if that was normal or maybe that was due to the fact that during the cesarean section they also apply a certain gel that I've seen on the tummy and I I wasn't sure if it was jelly because maybe the gel has softened their skin tissues or it's a normal process that a day after the cesarean section the, the belly has kind of popped to almost I looked like I was maybe six months pregnant it had just popped a bit and it was more it was way bigger than the way it was the previous day let me say 15 minutes after the surgery I asked the nurse why was the case and they said because the uterus is still swollen and maybe the swelling also from the the cut so it was a little bit firm and a little bit bigger but when five days later when i came home man everything was already really really small i was surprised how small like how fast the shrinkage actually the, the body really just tried to go back to the normal you like how everything was before five days later when i came home i did actually go i went on the scale and i wanted to check how much how much weight i've lost already at the end of my third trimester, I was 6 to 8 kilos. Five days after the cesarean section, I was at 6 to 3. And I'm going to share in this video today, where am I at now? Three weeks, no, four weeks postpartum. Is it really four weeks? Or oh, this is more like three weeks and few days. Let me say three weeks and three days postpartum. Moment, I'm using a corset that I'm wearing every single day. Very nice and firm. I want to show you in a minute. And it's because the first two weeks, let me say the first week and a half, I didn't wear, I didn't wear anything. And then my mother was really like concerned because in my culture, immediately after giving birth, a woman get like a leather belt. We usually traditionally made. Otherwise, nowadays I think you can also get those belts in a pharmacy or so. And my mother was like, you definitely need to get a belt. So initially I didn't have a belt and I went for a, I had like a postpartum legging that just compressed the tummy a bit. I started with that and a few days later my belt was, or my corset was uh, delivered from Amazon. So what I have at the moment look like just a sheet. That's what I have got at the moment. And I just wrap it around. And if you check, 
if when I have the corset on, the board is really flat. I have this 24 hours on, except when I'm taking a shower. I also sleep with it on. When I remove the corset, I can tell that the, the belly is still a little bit bigger than the way it looked in a corset, but it's still really good. Like, it's still really small. I'm actually very happy with how everything is going. And I'm not doing, just a disclaimer, I'm not doing any diet, anything. I'm only producing breast milk, so I think that contributes a lot. Apart from that, I'm eating as much as needed to make sure that I have enough milk and I can produce enough milk for the baby. And I'm not doing anything and drinking a lot of water. I would also say probably I have been eating a little bit more sugary food than before because I'm just like, if I'm hungry and there's a cake or I want a cake, I'm, bit, I'm now eating more than I have even eaten during pregnancy. So with the corset, that's how I look like, everything nice and fair. Surprised, I still do not have stretch marks at the moment. I thought they would maybe they'll start forming later on, but this is how everything looked like. So the hyperpigmented areas are still there, but they, are, they don't look that hyperpigmented anymore because I have definitely way so much skin. Then the skin is not that overstretched when the skin is overstretched during pregnancy, it was a little bit lighter, and it, the hyperpigmented area were more significant. And now the skin has shrinked together, there's just a lot of skin and the stomach look a little bit more darker than before and so as the hyperpigmented area they don't look that bad or that significant. But I'm so happy, I am so happy, I was surprised, I have to keep on the belt, initially I didn't have the belt but my mother was like you need to have a belt. I couldn't find the traditional one, so I got myself this corset from Amazon. And it works actually quite well because it also supports my core. I feel way stronger. And I'm, I'm much more comfortable when I'm moving around or turning than when I didn't have it. And it does actually does not cause any pain to my scars or anything like that. So I'm using this and I would recommend what else I want to share. Yesterday I hopped on the scale and I wanted to see how much weight have I lost and at the moment I've seen that from 68 I'm now at 59. So my normal weight before pregnancy was like 54. Let me say before COVID I was somewhere around always 50. Then somewhere during the COVID I was somewhere between 54, 53 and that's how that was my initial weight that was recorded on my at the beginning of my pregnancy, like the initial checkup, beginning of um, the first trimester. Uh, apart from that, the general healing process I'm doing absolutely general healing process I'm doing fine. Healed, I don't feel any pain from the cesarean section cut. Uh, immediately after giving birth, and a week after that, when I didn't have the corset. Oh, the abdomen, the core area was so weak. Like when you're standing up, when you have to bend, when you have, it was just weak. And when I have a corset, I feel like the tissues are more compressed together and supported. I feel a little bit more strength. And apart from that, everything is doing. I'm, I'm happy with the process. I'm actually really surprised how fast I'm back to normal. I'm actually surprised. I expected to see stretch marks pretty much the first two, three, four weeks, but I do not see stretch marks up to now. Maybe they're still coming later. I was surprised and I thought that was like every person after giving birth, they get stretch marks because I just felt like the tongue was overstretched. But we are not there yet. 
with still positive and I'm hoping they do not show up. If they show up, don't mind me so much. I'm a mom. It is, you know, it's a journey. I'm growing. I'm, I'm a woman. I'm a wife. I'm okay. If they're there, I don't even put on a lot of open stuff anymore. So they are going to be behind and covered with clothes. So I don't care. Anyway, guys, if you enjoy this kind of video, Give me a like, subscribe to our channel, and see you in our next video. I have to go as fast as possible. I'm sorry, I have to apologize, you guys. Excuse me. It's, I'm a mom for the first time, and filming a YouTube video and having a newborn is a challenge. Like, hands up to. I've seen so many moms doing YouTube film, YouTube full time and doing this and filming all the time. I don't know if I will get there. Now I'm just trying to pop in here anytime when the baby is sleeping and film a 15, a 10 to 15 minutes video and I'm out of here. I, I just, I don't know. Hope I'm going to get there where like super mom, I can film the babies in my hand or I'm breastfeeding while I'm filming or I don't know. Like I've seen that in the videos, but I'm not there yet. So it's a learning process for me. And as for now, bear with me. We will be here trying to put up a video as fast as possible and out of here. See you in our next video. Ciao!